The Deepwater BP oil spill was an unprecedented disaster. During and immediately following the incident, teams of scientists began surveying the impacts to the Gulf of Mexico's natural resources. This process, called a natural resource damage assessment, will lead to an equally large restoration effort. Today we're going to be going out, we're doing a rapid shoreline assessment. And what we do is we go behind the SCAT team's work, and the SCAT team is the shoreline cleanup assessment team. And they drive boats along the shoreline and check for oil and the level of oiling. And then we stop every 1,500 feet um, to take measurements. And they first do a very quick assessment of the shoreline, seeing whether the shore is oiled or not. And then we go behind them and do a more thorough assessment. There's a little bit of Spartana coming back here. We'll go and poke at the mud, see if there's some oil. Um, also look at the grass, look at the blades, see if there's any oil on the blades. That's, right. that's, that's purslane, sea purslane. Basically the SCAT team just goes out in boats and so they drive along. So they only see oiling if it's very obvious. But we stop every 1500 feet and take measurements whether or not we see oil. Generally, we try to get on the water about 7, 7.30. We get on an airboat, um, go about an hour away. Then we spend the majority of the day going around behind the scat lines and get back off the water about two o'clock. Each team consists of a federal representative and a state representative and a BP representative. And then of course your captain. Our captains are our local guys. Um, actually, our captain, Wayne, is just lives a couple minutes from here. I'm very impressed with how they're able to navigate. It's um, the bayous here are not easily navigated and they're really impressive. We have data sheets saying whether we saw oiling or anything of significance and we also take pictures at each site that we stop at. The Deepwater Horizon spill was a horrible disaster. Without a doubt it damaged many natural resources along the Gulf Coast. Fortunately, nature is resilient. The NIDA process is designed to gauge just how much damage the spill did to these species and to the people who enjoy and depend on them. Our goal is to use the information gathered in the field to guide a comprehensive restoration strategy that fully compensates the country for its loss. It's really gratifying to be a part of this and know that I'm making a difference. 